So, good afternoon, everyone, or maybe morning. Uh, my name is Martin Czech. I'm from the Galaxy team. And in spite of the somewhat esoteric name of this presentation, this is uh, an update of what the Galaxy project has been doing for the last year. Uh, one of the main focus that, that Galaxy is taking last five years uh, is that we're trying to expand communities to uh, many uh, different topics and different undertakings. And one of the results of this is this impressive list of uh, public Galaxy servers uh, with some of their uh, custom logos. And we think even though this list is still growing and growing and growing, um, it's fairly impressive already. Um, another thing that we're proud of is, the, is this core group of, of community people outside of the team, mostly that uh, take care of our uh, tooling, that take care that the tools have uh, best uh, practices, that they are well-defined, and that there is uh, always someone who you can ask about, hey, how do I do Galaxy tool? So thanks to all of these. Another effort that we're trying to speed up and uh, focus on is internationalization. So recently we've had um, quite some effort put into this and the result is that we have uh, uh, French and Japanese localization ready for the full Galaxy interface. So this is something that we hope will enable more and more communities to, uh, to come to join the effort of the Galaxy project. Uh, another effort we had was a unification and let's say revamp of, uh, of our old wiki page. Now it's uh, all unified under the galaxyproject.org. And one thing that we're hoping will again enable the community to grow is that we integrate it in instant messaging within the whole page. So wherever you browse, whatever you're reading about, uh, you can always just click open chat and you'll get to our main channel where there's always someone online and the Trending Galaxy project that was just splendidly presented by Berenice, so I won't even go there, but this is something we're very, very proud of. As of the community around the Galaxy main server uh, that offers around 800 tools, um, we embraced uh, the Jetstream uh, scientific cloud about a year and a few months ago, and we uh, are observing a uh, raising number of uh, jobs that are enabled by using this uh, infrastructure provided by NSF. Another thing that we are converging to is to enable reproducibility at levels that was unprecedented before for the uses that we have. And one of the things that help us with this the most is the Conda, which you learned a lot or heard a lot about yesterday. And this is a slide that is becoming basically mandatory for every Galaxy presentation slide deck. So I'm sorry if you, see, if you saw this before, but uh, the fact is that we are now really, really proud of the stack we're using to reproduce analysis and pipelines. So I think we will share this slide much more in the future too. Uh, two main things that are important for me and uh, are that now, uh, ever since January of this year, Galaxy ships with Conda enabled. So whenever you start Galaxy, you automatically obtain Conda installation ready and isolated uh, for Galaxy's purposes and uses. And the Galaxy project is not abandoning, but deprecating its own effort to build a package manager um, in favor of uh, Conda and other efforts. As of uh, interactive environments, which are, if you never saw that, and I doubt you never did, but uh, that's a combination of, of Galaxy with some other software embedded and communicating with it. A uh, prime example of it is a Jupyter Notebook, which allows you to explore data more interactively than running actual jobs and tools. You can just use you know, Python at command line. And there is a quite uh, recent publication about it in plus computational biology. And there is a talk upcoming about it on Tuesday and at uh, there is one given by, given by uh, Anton Negrosenko. And there are upcoming 
not as polished as Jupiter, but other interactive environments coming in Galaxy. On the screenshot is Ethercalc, which is an Excel-like software, but open source. And we have Finch, RStudio, Neo4j, and others in making. Another problem that we started to face more and more is that as, as the number of communities is increasing, they are, get, they are having different needs that is difficult to fulfill with just one interface. You're actually out of time, so if you can wrap up. Sure. This is an example of one of the simplest web hook. You have PhD comic on the submission of two. And this is an example of a difficult web hook, which is a completely overload. Uh, search overlay. And as a few enhancements, just look at the numbers. This is a history with 100,000 data sets, and this is a history with 5,000 data sets in a collection. Thank you all, and please uh, look for other Galaxy content in uh, Monday and on Tuesday. And sorry about the time, I didn't see that.